a pleasure to meet y'all at last. And here we go. The second time that I've got Ark Survival Evolved here to react to. On Gaming with Kaiju Force Neo, Face Cam Specials Insurgents. So, of course, I've already gotten over the fact that aside from all of the problems that I've had back then with Ark Survival Evolved's functions and capabilities, not to mention the optimal balance that I could get just by playing the game itself, I have really felt like I could just simply go back down to where I would normally play all my games and record all the footage just so I can see how much can I improve based on all of my past experiences I've had with the game so far. I've already gotten 34 episodes worth of Ark Survival Evolved gameplay on my channel, especially when it comes to Season 3 of Gaming with Kaiju Force Neo. Not to mention the fact that there was a Face Cam Specials Insurgents Season 1 episode that had Ark Survival Evolved featured when within it. But, of course, that episode wasn't all too well because I just did not have as much experience, nor did I intend to push on as many capabilities as I could adhere. Because I almost figured that I could figure out all the controls by myself, though... Even to today, I still have the knowledge here to at least find out how bad I am at this game compared to many pros out there. I mean, even though I had gotten as far as level 20, it's really just not been any easier for me than it is now. Because, of course, there are still two large clips of Ark Survival Evolved gameplay footage that I still have within that's archived at the moment, but I'll probably just make a fresh start here once I'm done with all of this. And it's simply for the best. There's no doubt about that, really. So, what I can just say at this moment is that, aside from everything else, every single one of my past experiences, I've gotten better almost every time. Though most of the time I had gotten just around an average day's worth of gameplay. I had managed to get up so high within those ranks that it was almost like I was getting better every time, but mostly there were these times where I was only able to get so far with every time I played the game. And every time I would return to the game itself, I would have to start all over again because no matter what server you're in, you just can't seem to save your survivor progress unless, of course, you were to complete a certain stage, of course, which would involve one of the obelisks. And if you're not familiar with the obelisks here in Ark Survival Evolved, well, those are the floating objects in the air that project a stream of colored light, be it red, green, or blue, especially in any one of these servers here, which involve the island itself. Now, of course, the island is what I'm only able to play on for the most part, but occasionally there would be a couple other servers that I would be able to play on. Though I can't seem to get to those. Nor could I be able to get to the DLCs out there, including Extinction or Ragnarok. Because I would have to pay extra money to get those DLC packs, which involve those extra servers. Those settings, in particular. But once again, this is probably a bit of a minor flaw of some sorts. As even though I can actually afford all of that, it's just not as in my favor as I would suppose. And I feel like I'm getting just the kind of gameplay I need just by sticking to the original island setting a server like that. But... Nonetheless, of course, what you're seeing at the moment is that you're just seeing basically the best I'm able to do here in the game itself. The best I'm able to do at the moment is to, well, kill dodos and other small animals. I'm able to build housing made of thatch for the most part. Though I have occasionally built housing out of actual wood. Not so much as thatch. Though, of course, if you don't remember at one point, I made a house that was kind of big. And that was also situated near the waterline, but of course, if you probably don't remember that moment, then well, 
I can't really say for sure, but it was a bit frustrating at the moment. A saber-toothed tiger came by and tore the whole thing to pieces. And it also killed me twice. Especially when I was trying to defend the house from getting ripped apart. So yeah, that was probably a pretty frustrating moment, but at the same time, it really allowed me to learn about the facts that while sometimes some things out there can just ruin your hard work. So, of course I would have to figure out some much better ways to deal with such dangerous creatures and the like, like the saber-toothed tiger, the megalodons, of course, but... Even though I encountered a Tuso Toothless and even got as close to getting up close and personal with one of them, because of course that Tuso Toothless that you saw in one particular episode was in someone else's captivity. So, and the person who owned that Tuso Toothless, who tamed it, wasn't really in any mood to attack me. So, of course. That Tuso Toothless that I got as close to as possible didn't try to kill me then, but I probably won't expect another Tuso Toothless to be wandering around in the waters deep within the surface to just leave me alone like that. There's a much better chance it would actually try to kill me by grabbing me with its tentacles and ripping me to shreds with its sickles. I mean, how could you imagine? Well, again, no. there's lots of stuff that I would have to deal with here in these servers because, of course, this is just how the game itself would go. But what you're seeing right now is that you're just seeing basically the best I'm able to do here. I'm able to build thatch housing with total ease. And, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But, of course... There's a much better likelihood that at some point, much better types of housing out there composed of materials like wood or stone or other things like that. I mean, those could be very useful one day. So, of course, I can actually mine stone and metal out of rocks and boulders themselves. But the probably one of the biggest problems I run into especially when it comes to building housing that's composed of those materials, is that I'm not at high enough of a rank where I'm able to build housing like that. I just have to keep playing and playing and playing the game until I get up to a rank that's high enough to the point where I would be able to play those, those things there. I would be able to create those kinds of housing, and I wouldn't be able to have problems there. Though, I probably wouldn't expect it all to go down the way I hope. Because, of course, it will take a lot more time. It will take a lot more work. But, for now, you are seeing what I'm able to do at best. Thatch housing with thatch floors, thatch ceilings, thatch walls, a thatch door frame, and a thatch door itself. I'm also able to make lock boxes, sleeping bags, campfires and other basics that could supply to the survivors here in the primeval style world that is Ark Survival Evolved itself. I mean, the setting, of course, chronologically in Ark Survival Evolved is actually timeless because you are, in fact, seeing both the past, present, and the future inherited in the settings of this game itself. Because if you're not familiar with, well, tech creatures, like the tech wyvern or the tech T-Rex, the tech stegosaurus and the like, I mean, tech dinosaurs and other creatures out there that are tech related can be found in these servers that especially look like they're from the Stone Age. Of course, the Stone Age is a big part of this game here. Though the future does happen to play a pretty big role here. Of course, that is where the term evolved comes into play here. Because, of course, it is talking about human evolution itself. It is actually doing a pretty good play on words. And would you look at that? I already have an uninvited guest who's trying to tear apart my housing. And it looks to be a Dilophosaurus, so I'm going to have to take it out. 
Let's see where it is. Uh-oh. Is that one of them? Okay, no, okay. So, of course, I've got hardly any trouble trying to kill a Dilophosaurus, but in terms of any other creatures out there, especially when I'm talking about, let's say, raptors, and just like that, it spat in my face. Even though I had my back turned to it, actually. So, it wouldn't be possible for my vision to get blurred out like that from the venom that the Dilophosaurus spits. Because it just wouldn't be possible. If it would spat in your eyes, then of course it would block out your vision, but if it just spat at you from the back, then I would not say it would be possible at all. But you know, once again, who am I to judge? And now more Dilophosauruses are coming. And they're tearing apart my housing. I mean, unless if I leave them alone, then they won't attack me. If I leave them alone, then that's just how it is. And just like that, you can see right there that that's just pretty much what it used to be. I just don't seem to take as much charge as I used to, nor am I able to really take a hold of what is out there. So, that does kind of make me feel a bit guilty, but once again, why on earth would I leave the past to this? Why would I leave the past to the present? I mean, it's a question that could be timeless as well. Just like the setting of this game. The setting of this game is considered timeless. Quote unquote. Because of the fact that it does inherit the Stone Age, you know, environment. While at the same time it does take hold of anything that's in the future. And if you saw right there, I just killed a fish. Uh oh. Is that a piranha? I feel like that could have been a piranha down there, maybe. Maybe it was. I couldn't really be sure. Uh-oh. A Dilophosaurus is down there. I don't know if, what I can do to go and attack it or not, but... Yeah. Of course, this is just how I was back then, so... Probably won't be, you know, like that in the future, but... Of course, this all depends on what I'm going to be able to learn at the same time that I'm still kind of a rookie here. And I do admit it, I'm not as good at playing this game as most of y'all are. So, for those who still do play Ark Survival Vault and have a good time with it as well, I mean, I sure as heck like the game because of its setting, because of what you can do here in the game, because of the open world environment, because of what you can look out for, I mean... Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Whoa! You can burn them with the torch? Yeah, again, I'm already learning new things. I mean, this is footage that I've had for months, yet I had no idea I can do that. I could simply light a Dilophosaurus on fire with a torch. But, once again, I'm going to have to leave, so please like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.